Hello everyone and welcome to Genshin Impact. Thank you for joining me today. Oh, it's been it's been a tricky one. There's been a whole load of quests that have been blocking each other, trying to unravel them, and things are just going all over the place. Um, I'm back here in Mondstadt for the moment, just doing the uh, Lieben quest thing here. That uh, we were swapping various resources for a box of marbles. Uh, do we have what's needed? We do. Lovely. Okay, we do that one. I have been doing this one, so that's like, what, three three or five or something? There's like two more days to do. Yeah, okay, so last time out, there was some a big old fat bunch of confusion. Uh, people have already commented in the uh, uh, comment section of the last one, but uh, what I thought was Ito's story quest that we started was actually this, uh, this one here, the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Boot Camp, which is a limited, a uh, time-limited quest. So I think we're going to go and see if we can do this, because this also involves Ito. This is what was confusing me a lot. Now I did mess up a little bit and I did trigger the next section of this one when I was not recording. So we've missed a little bit, um, but uh, if you're familiar with this game you've probably done this yourself, so hopefully you're not missing out too much. If you're not familiar, if you're only watching my videos of this then I'm sorry we missed a bit. Um, but yeah, let's, let's, let's go back here and uh, carry on. So basically what happened, try and remember what happened. Uh, we found Ito and some kid talking about uh, beetles, uh, battling beetles or something. And this uh, uh, geo, uh, geo hatchling thing showed up and they decided they were going to battle it with our beetles. But the geo hatchling basically murdered our beetles. Um, and then Shang Ling showed up with her bear and the bear scared off the hatchling and so they were all like amazed at how cool this bear was um, and then they were soon talking about opening up some kind of battle arena for beetles I, I don't know but Ito was there uh, unfortunately yeah we missed the first impressions of Ito that's the first time I've seen him seems pretty cool I quite like him so far but um, I'm hoping you're getting the game sound as well because we missed we missed some game sound at the beginning of the last episode. It was just like a complete mess. Hopefully, this one's not going to be quite as bad. Guoba, Shangling, Traveler, and Paimon. Hey, Guoba. Uh, wait, where are the other two? So it's a little bit strange that we've got this quest going on at the same time as Ito's story quest, because Ito is apparently this wanted criminal who's done something. Uh, you know, he wants to be arrested, and we've been tasked to find him and bring him back so he can be arrested by um, the Tenure Commission, I think it was. Um, but in this one, we're just like, oh, hey, Ito's here. Let's go play with some beetles with him. It doesn't make sense narratively, but unfortunately, there's not. It's just the nature of the game, really, isn't it? <sighs> Let me guess. Ito and Hanakato are up to their usual antics. We'll fill you in shortly. First, I need to get all these pristine ingredients safely stored away. The Mistflower Corollas won't keep the crabs cool for much longer. Plus, the Traveler and Paimon are valued customers, eagerly awaiting a grand feast. I'll get cooking, then we can catch up while we eat. Okay, Zanling and Gruba whip up a meal from ingredients collected on our trip. It's not long before an exceptional meal is served. By now, Yan Fei and Shinobu are hungry too. The feasting begins. As you dine, you tell Shinobu and Yan Fei about Ito and Hanako's run-in with Crystal Tornado. This was the, uh, oh, what, I can't what they're called now, the Geo Shavap Hatchlings. And the plan to hold a beetle fighting boot camp. Yeah, that's what that, yeah. So basically what I just told you is what they're now telling them. I like this, they've got this little click continue on the subtitles. Why do they not always have that? Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp? <sighs> that doesn't bode well. It won't be long before things get out of hand. We're guests here which means we're supposed to be on our best behavior. Leave them to me. I'll put a stop to it. Hmm, I don't know. I think it could be fun. Anyway, don't stress. Beetle fighting sounds like a great event idea. According to the Comprehensive Compendium of Liyue La, we just need to notify the relevant office of the Ministry of Civil Affairs, and they'll issue a permit pretty much right away. You never know. Maybe you'll make some new friends with this event. Then you'll have even more people to hang out with when you next come to Liyue. Yeah, and you can bring them all to Wanmin Restaurant for your meals. <sighs> Wait, first the event, and now you're already planning our next trip? Uh, 
given the Arataki gang's financial situation... Ah, oh, come on. You gotta learn to cut loose more. You came all this way. You should be focused on catching up with old friends, making some new ones, and just generally hanging out and doing lots of fun stuff. I need to be at the Ministry of Civil Affairs shortly for something else anyway, so I can get the ball rolling for Ito's thing while I'm there. All right, I'll handle that while you guys head back to Ito and help get the venue set up. I'll join you later and bring the permit with me. Yanfei is in a good mood today. She didn't take any persuading to help out with the event. Well, event planning's right up her alley. She was an officiator in the Masterful Chefs Contest, and she has a lot of contacts because of her work. She's also on vacation at the moment, and her old friend Shinobu's in town. That's definitely put her in the mood to have some fun. Well, I've missed my chance to discuss the issue of our funds. Guess I've got no choice but to deal with Boss directly now. Traveler, Paimon, thanks for all your help so far. I promise I'll make it up to you the next time we meet. Uh, you mean you don't need us to come with you? Well, if Ito's serious about defeating that Geovishop hatchling with Oni Kabuto, Paimon's kinda curious to see how everything goes down. Uh, yeah, we want to join in the competition too. Now that you mention it, didn't you help boss out a lot at the last one of these? The almighty Arataki extraordinary and exhilarating extreme beetle brawl? No, I didn't do that event, unfortunately, so I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, we didn't really help out. We just played a few matches. But it was actually super fun. <laughs> Either way, it sounds like you understand boss's perspective far better than I do, so maybe you'll be able to help me talk some sense into him. I'll take all the help I can get. Sure, or, uh, you know, maybe we could just let him go ahead with it, huh? Alright then, uh, so we need to go to the uh, Gideon Stone Forest again. So the reason I'm, I'm doing this is just, well, because I've got three days left to do it. So, if, if I do have a chance to do a, a timed quest, then I will do it. Um, so we, we can't continue with the Omni Ubiquiti Net quest, Ubiquiti Net quest, but that, that's fine, I guess we can, we can leave that one. We can carry on with the Ito Story quest, I think that's going to get very confusing if I do, <laughs> so we'll leave that for the moment, and then of course, uh, yeah, at the Perilous Trail Unexpected Guest, we can't do until we've done the Ito Story quest, so that, that's basically where we're at at the moment. And then we've also got this one, which we did start as well, the Through the Mist one. No, sorry, what I'm talking about, not the, not this one. I haven't done that one. The, yeah, this one, Through the Mist. Um, we were kind of in the middle of, of the um, uh, Surami Island, so many your stuff. It was just, yeah. Oh, it was, yeah, okay, we'll try, I'm trying to unravel these quests, and get them done uh, in the right orders, but there's, there's, it's tricky. Anyway, we're going to do this one today. So we need to go to uh, the... Uh, Union Stone Forest over here, and yeah, I'll take some take part in some beetle battling by the sounds of it. I guess these are kind of like the mini games I've done. I did do one that was in Fontaine. There were some uh, mini games and stuff. Um, one of my brief excursions to Fontaine. I didn't I didn't want to stay around there too long because I didn't really want to do Fontaine straight away. And I did kind of dip my toes a little bit in a couple of the events there. Um. Yeah, there's a rhythm game thing. I did, I did that one, and yeah. So anyway, let's see what this one's about. Okay, well here he is. This is Ito. It's the first time he's been on uh, in the video. All right, boss. Fun time in Leeway is over. Let's head home. Shinobu, I, I, I can explain. No, you can't. Our funds have run out. We've spent too long here. After buying our tickets for the boat home, the gang fund is down to double digits. How can we possibly afford to hold a tournament? Yenfei Senpai very kindly offered to handle the legalities, otherwise you wouldn't even have a permit. Are you expecting her to foot the bill as well? Put a stop to this now, before things get out of control. But, but, you don't understand. We have a situation here. Normally, I'm happy to do things your way, but the Arataki gang's two top Onikabuto warriors just lost to some pet rock. Cold Crystal Tomato, finish your sentence. 
Look, we have a whole arena set up and everything. If we back out now, we'll be the laughing stock of the entire beetle fighting world. Oh, that sounds terrible. You've lost plenty of beetle fights before. Even I can beat you, and I'm not even a serious player. Why are you so bothered about losing to some bishop hatchling? <laughs> Shinobu! That was a low blow. <laughs> yeah, what? My first impressions of this guy. I really like him. Anyway, that's ancient history. I'm on a whole different level now. There isn't a single beetle fighter out there who can touch me. I'm serious about beating that pet rock. Don't think I've got what it takes? And <laughs> Try me. <laughs> Gladly. You want to do this the hard way? We'll do it the hard way. Grandmaster Hanakato, get me and boss a beetle each. Maybe he'll be more amenable to reason after a crushing defeat. If I win, you have to come back with me. No complaining, and no making any more trouble for Yenfei Senpai. Uh, Shinobu! Oni King! I... You're really doing this, huh? I, uh, didn't think you'd take it this far. Okay, uh, so, sky cleaving white iron lavender melon, I delegate this challenge to you. <laughs> what a name! <laughs> You're making Paimon fight me? <laughs> no surprises there. <laughs> No surprise here either. Ito is so predictable, apparently, even though I've never met him before, but never mind. Uh, what Bob Checker is really saying is, if you want to fight the Oni King, you have to go through Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon first. Man, I wish I knew how she got that name. And Bob Checker as well. They've obviously met, had a big old interaction. Paimon loves giving uh, people nicknames, so she's given him the nickname Bob Checker. I don't know why, with there's some bulls involved. Is there a video I can watch to kind of catch me up on this? Let me know in the comment section. I'd really appreciate that. Exact mundo, amigo. Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon is one of the Arataki Gang's top beetle fighters, but even she isn't in the same league as moi. So, Shinobu, if you want to duel with the Don, you gotta beat the Melon. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> Except. Paimon refuses. Oh. What? Twist. Even Paimon knows that you can't. People to pick up your slack all the time. It's not right. So if you're out of Mara, then tough luck. You gotta watch your sending. If Paimon helps you out, that'll just make more trouble for Yanfei, and then Shinobu will owe her a favor. Okay, true. You make a fair point. But it's all good. I have a backup plan for situations like this. If we really are out of funds, then uh, I'll find a job. I'll work nights, do beetle fighting during the day. Pay any expenses out of my own pocket. It'll work. The Grandmaster has helped me find a few good gigs before. As long as it's physical work and the pay is good, I'll take it. Now you're talking! See, that's the kind of attitude Paimon can get behind. When you're the top dog, you watch the bottom line. Don't rely on someone else where you can do it yourself. <sighs> I can't believe you guys. Your plan is all well and good, and I do hope you try not to be a burden on other people. You still need to beat me first. I know what boss is trying to do. He's making me fight Paimon first to use up my Onikabuto stamina. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Even with a disadvantage, I'm still not going to make this easy for you. Okay, Beetle Battle Boot Camp is about to begin. Press D to command it to move forward. Okay. Press A to command it to dodge backwards. Hold D to command it to begin charging. Oh, I didn't see what that said, something about the charge level. Press Q to command the crew to guard. Hold Q, okay. To defend against jet stream attacks. Keep using guard to defend against jet stream attacks. Okay, after a fierce battle, Shinobi suddenly narrowly loses the crimson, crimson staff under Pyramus' direction. I lost. I can't believe it. That... that was so tense. <laughs> Shinobi nearly got the better of Paimon there. Yeah, what a battle. Uh, <laughs> what a dazzling duel. Hey, hey! <laughs> Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon destroys Shinobu on the first attempt. Oh! <laughs> you really are natural at this, aren't you? 
As agreed, we now have Shinobu's official support to host the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. <sighs> I haven't battled in ages. Guess I'm out of practice. <sighs> I'll have to move to Plan B. Try to keep costs to a minimum, and make sure Yenpei Senpai doesn't end up doing everything for us. I'm gonna hold you to your word, boss. Fund this event yourself by working nights. Battle beetles all you want during the day. And one other thing. Our boat tickets home were booked well in advance. I can amend the date, but only by a few days. So keep this event to maybe four or five other people tops, or you'll run out of time, okay? I don't want you getting carried away. Got it. Sure, promise. Cross my heart and hope to die. Shinobu, you've got nothing to worry about. Okay, I'll head down to the harbor and see about changing the tickets. I'm warning you, you'd better not go spending all our mora while I'm gone. Just charge an entrance so fee, you'll make your money back no time. battles to get in shape enough for Guobasan. Then we gotta master what he teaches us, then take down that cocky pet rock. Shinobu is asking us to do the impossible here. But this is the kind of hardcore challenge I live for. <laughs> Don't worry, Oni King. I'll find people to join us in our great training endeavor. So long as there are worthy beetle battlers to be found, I'll be sure to sense their presence and bring them over to our camp. We haven't been in Liyue for long, but I'm certain that this vast land is filled with mighty warriors. We'll have no trouble finding but one of these each day. Now, as for the esteemed Oni King's right hand and honorable sky-cleaving white iron lavender melon... <laughs> We've done our part. We saved your butts by getting Shinobu to agree to this. Paimon saw the look of sheer terror on your faces. You're clearly no match for her. It would be conventional to show gratitude with a gift. <laughs> well, surely the Arataki gang gives credit where credit is due. Oh, well, of course. <laughs> I, I will uh, uh, leave it to me. I'll come up with something. You'll get your reward, don't you worry. In the meantime, if the Oni King's right hand and sky cleaving wide iron lavender melon don't have other plans, then prepare to watch history in the making. Because in a few short days, I, the bona fide Beetle Battle King, will raise my game to new heights, win the respect of Guobasan, and become a living legend! I love oh, yeah! I love he's got a, a magical comb, that's fantastic. Or anything, but why is she in a cave all of a sudden? If you mess this up and everyone completely wipes the floor with you, we'll see the whole thing. <laughs> Blackman's got commands on this one. Okay, so you tap the forward button, the small amount of stamina to move half a tile forward, get close to the opponent. This move will knock your damage. Okay, hold the forward button to instruct it to charge its energy. When charging versus ends, it will expend a greater amount of stamina to rush forward. When it rush forward, it deal damage. Uh, or, or based on the amount of time spent, so more charging, more damage. Fully charged rush will take the opportunity two tiles forward. Uh, if you reach your opponent's exact position, upon finishing its rush and hits, it can perform piercing strikes, deal greater damage. You cannot trigger the special attack by tapping to advance. The overcharging will not allow you to trigger it either. Okay, so you've got to get it right on time. Okay. Time spent charging to size your rush distance, and you can use the charging progress to judge how far your only computer will advance forward. Tap the back button. Okay, one tile backwards. Dodge. Okay. Uh, if both the only computer unleash your attacks at the same time, you're uh, Oni Kabuta will be knocked down without dealing damage to the opponent. Take note of the attack timings. Should your plans change, cancel charging to avoid unnecessary stamina expenditure. Press the guard button so you consume some stamina and form a shield. Okay. Use the guard right before a natural bullet to bounce it back. Leave it to me. All, right. All of it. Whatever it is. What? exactly is it i didn't quite catch your request right okay what are we doing here we're doing this one listen to the next breakdown hello all 
I am Iron Tongue Tien, here with an official signboard for the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. It also doubles as your permit to run the event. Whoa! Is this supposed to be Bull Chucker and Crimson Staff? It's so over the top. Ah! Oh. oh, sweet! Sadly, it's not my own original artwork, but check out that design! And that line work! It's so cool! <laughs> it's epic! It captures exactly how awesome I look as a pro beetle fighter in the heat of battle! <laughs> Dude! Wait, not that. Uh, how do they usually address strangers in this part of the world? Uh, maybe... Esquire? Ah, that's the one. Tien Esquire. Your artwork is incredible. Words cannot express the Arataki gang's gratitude. You can drop the Esquire, Don Arataki. Also, I'm no artist, just a storyteller. This promotional artwork was done by a young lady at the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yenfei looks out for her a lot, so when she heard about your event, she offered to contribute some artwork. Oh, so this is Yen Fei's doing. Man, she really thought of everything. This is exactly what we needed. Young Grandmaster Hanakado here tells me that your boot camp is an ambitious training program that could shape the future of beetle fighting. Well, I'm no beetle fighter myself, but I've heard a lot about it and have always wanted to try it out for myself. Who knows, it might just give me the inspiration for a great new story to tell in the neighborhood. Beetle fighting is something you have to have a natural affinity for. Take Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon, for instance. She battled with great prowess on her first time after only a short demonstration. Once Tien Esquire has grasped the basics of beetle fighting and understands the appeal, we might get a lot of free publicity from his storytelling. Dude! Ah, oh, that'd be awesome! All right, Squirt. Uh, squat. Yeah, yeah, Squire! Yeah, yeah Squire! <laughs> uh, may, may the best man win! He's delightfully over the top. I love him. All right, um, okay. So, by committing charges on the higher difficulty setting, you can directly claim rewards for each difficulty below it. Right, I've never done this before, but let's, let's just go in for... Let's go straight in. Focus fight. We'll, we'll see. Azul don't really know what I'm what I'm doing here. Oh, that was too much, too much. Okay, we can move forward a bit. Oh, I see the stamina does recharge pretty quickly. Oh, I did try to guard them. All right. Hey, I did some stuff there. No, I didn't do anything there. Uh, okay, I'm not doing very well here. Oh, okay, he's still getting you there. Oh, that was a good one. Uh, let's dodge this one, and then... Okay. Oh, no, he got me. Alright. <laughs> nice. Oh, brilliant! New record, fifty-nine seconds. That that seemed pretty bad. But... Ah, wonderful. Hmm. I can see that the Arataki gang has transformed beetle fighting into a fiercely competitive, high adrenaline sport. Yes, there are the rudiments of a fine tale here. To be told time and again. Great dueling with you, TN Esquire. Ah, the pleasure was all right. The phrase is, the pleasure is all mine, <laughs> Oni King. <laughs> Details, schmeetails. Point is, thank you for supporting our boot camp. I extend my gratitude to you too, Don Arataki. I intend to stay here and watch a while longer to further enrich my writing. Uh, please. Pay no regard. Just pretend I'm not here. Man, I've never fought against someone so cultured before. My mind's buzzing from all those fancy words. What's that buzzy feeling called again? 
Oh yeah, learning. <laughs> Looks like the great. Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp is getting off to a good start. Okay, this has got me very excited to actually do Ito's story quest to find out more about him. This 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 is great. Oh, I like him. Right. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we're done. Let's move on to uh, Buttercup of Terror. <laughs> Oni Kabuto are our friends, like cats and doggies. Another kid? Oh, didn't we go through this last time? Well, yeah, but Grandmaster Hanakado's a kid too. And one of the other kids from last time was actually pretty good, so age is no measure of a beetle fighter's skill. Although, uh, Buttercup of Terror has no prior beetle battling experience. Her chosen Oni Kabuto has the air of a formidable warrior. I don't know what you guys are talking about. My Oni Kabuto was a present from Daddy. He got it from a new friend he made last time he was away. Ho oh, ho! Your father sounds like a real stand-up guy. Okay, let's send out Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon for this one. We don't want any accusations of bullying flying around. Huh. You make it sound like Paimon's the weakest choice on our side! Still, Paimon's probably the safest choice. But only because you two maniacs are a danger to yourselves and others when you're in a competitive mood. Don't be nervous, young lady. It's only a game, so it's just for fun! Okay, she's going to be a, an expert though. Uh, so press the guard button to consume some of that and form a shield against hostile electro bullets. Yeah, we, we know that. I didn't do it right last time though. Alright, well, we're going to go for the focus fight again. Um, considerable long distance combat strength attacks with lightning bullets. Very agile, so I need to watch out for the, uh, the, the lightning bullets on this one. Okay, so we're going back here and. Hmm, I don't see. Maybe there's a timing thing here. Oh, here we go. So, if I time that just right, I can bounce it back. Oh, okay, no, I just had to dodge out. Okay, I see, I see. Ah, there we go, that was a good one. Oh, they got me. Nice. Oh, that was a good hit. Hey, I'm, okay, get in the hang of this now. Is that over what fan? That was it. This is good fun, actually. <laughs> oh, I nearly messed that up. Hey, what are you talking about? Uh, oh, I nearly died of a heart attack. That little beastie is fierce. Even I would have had a hard time. How'd you get so freaking good at this without a teacher? Is everyone in Liyue a born warrior or something? So this is how Oni Kabuto play together? I get it now! Uh, do you have time to play some more? And I also want to watch you guys play too! Looks like Buttercup of Terror has a real knack for this! Oh, kind of terrifying. Hey, Bullchucker! If you had this kind of talent, you could probably have learned how to communicate with shelled creatures just by listening to Goba talk to Crystal Tornado. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wish. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, okay, this one. Uh, contestant with super OP gear. Alright, Yanfei, yeah, what you got for me? Hey there, I'm back. So then, how's the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp coming along? Great timing, Yanfei! My savior! Oh, thanks for helping out with the permit. Oh, and for the sign with the epic artwork. Wait, I know that look. Are you, uh, looking to flip some beetle too? Huh? Something wrong with that? I have a big client who does a lot of cross-border commerce. Anyway, she showered me with gifts once after I helped her win a huge lawsuit. And among them was a very special Oni Kabuto. I didn't know how to look after it at the time, so I got Granny to look after it for a while. It's looking pretty buff these days. Mind if I join in? You're not worried I'll cramp your style, are you? We ought not dismiss your savior, Oni King. What she lacks in experience, she makes up for with one of the sturdiest built and most awe-inspiring Oni Kabuto I've ever seen. Oh, she's a kraken. Pay to win. 
You make me an offer I can't refuse. All right, time to send in the Oni King's right hand with Crimson Staff. I know my compadre will stay cool under pressure. You betcha. Thanks for the raise of confidence. So it's me versus the Traveler? All right. I haven't quite got the hang of this game yet, so apologies in advance for any blunders. Okay, uh, so we've got impressive melee combat strength and attacks with quakes. All right. All right, let's get straight in there with a big old ch charge attack. Oh, that was too big, I think. Uh, shields. Oh, missed my thing there. It's getting close. Uh, oh, no, let's get out of the way of this. Oh, oh, okay, that was a quake. Oh, no, shield. Yes. Uh, that was bad. Oh, okay, didn't have the stamina for that, that charge. Oh, one more little thing to, to go. We got this one. <laughs> oh, I, I do enjoy some of these mini games. They're, they're really good. Yampei's Oni Kabuto is so strong! What is Madame Penguin feeding that thing? <laughs> See? Your savior's Oni Kabuto is a force to be reckoned with! But just like last time, when my generals threw you a few curveballs, the mightiest blade cannot slay its foe except in the hands of a skilled swordmaster. Why wise words, Grandmaster? Oh, okay. Good thing my compadre kept it together. Wow, what a blast! I could get into this whole beetle battling thing. <sighs> this is so much fun. Thanks, everyone. I'm gonna stick around and play some more. Ah, amazing. Oh, God, we also have another one. No frills, instant kill. Okay, let's try this one. Oh, no, 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 this, this makes no sense. How, how did you do that? My, my reputation is destroyed! Oh, he's, he's very into his beta battle. It was an honor doing battle with you, good sir. What the? So polite. Been busy losing while we were away, Bullchucker? I don't see it that way. Unless the bona fide Beetle Battle King is ready to give up now, he hasn't lost to me yet. In battle and in life, it's normal to hit setbacks every once in a while. But a setback only turns into a failure if you make the decision to stop trying. Is that true? Wise words. Word! Heck yeah! I ain't about to admit defeat yet! Still. There's nothing to be gained from constantly making excuses. Don't put all your energy into talking garbage. Spend it on fighting a little harder instead. Oh, burn. Oni King, this brand of enemy doesn't seem to be your area of expertise. I advise you send in another of your generals and observe the duel in detail. Watching others do battle is also a crucial part of a warrior's training. Some skills one learns by doing, Others, one learns through observation. Ah, good point, Grandmaster. And good timing, compadre. Oni King's right hand, I'm handing the fight over to you. Ah! Finally, it's your turn! Make it count, Traveler. Ah, piece of cake. So, I'm going head-to-head -head with the legendary Traveler. Guess I better look sharp. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, what's, the, what's this one going to do? Holding the guard button will continuously consume stamina to maintain the shield against hostile jet streams. Okay, we have jet streams. Impressive long distance combat strength, attacks with various electro strikes, and extremely agile. Let's do this. Okay, so we need to kind of get in here. Yeah, we got it. No, oh, okay, that was too much. Oh no, that's into it. Come back. Oh, okay, gotta hold it down to protect against this. Okay. Ah, too short. Oh, no. Yeah, it's difficult to get in close, actually. Oh, it's too slow. 
Okay, let's try and get in here. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, don't get me. Okay, yes, get my stamina back. Oh. Nice. Get out of that. Oh, that was a good hit. Oh, that was a really good hit. Hey, did it. Nicely done. You beat me. I'd go as far as to say that it's an honor to lose against the Traveler. Ah, so that's how you do it. I never would have thought of that. Yep, when you're up against a cunning enemy, you gotta get creative. When your tactics fail, you have to change your point of view. In our journeys far and wide, we often have to think on our feet. Clinging to old methods can never solve the problem, no matter how hard you try. I think Shinobu said something like that once, too. I guess there's something to it after all. But I'll mull it over some other time. Right now, my focus is on the task at hand. More beetle fighting! Absolutely. Well, I think we've taken on all the opponents though. What do we get from that? We must get some rewards for doing that one. What do we get? Uh, ultimate trial. What have we done? Uh, okay, fight. Calamitous Colossus Count Crushmore. All right, so we have to actually go fight somebody else here. We've got something something here. Well, that's probably just the uh, commissions. Okay, nice, we've got all those. It's that. There was something else though. There was definitely something else here. Uh, event details. Okay, right, so yeah, so I get the... Oh, nice, you do get the uh, rewards beforehand. That's good. So, um, obviously we can still do the utmost difficulty take part we only take part in a duel okay so we, we don't even need to win so we can grab these yes yeah, so we, we have to have a go and we'll win a bit more but the the prima germans here is the, the important things here that's what we're getting nice nice and then five so i need to the ultimate trial of the strongs so, okay yeah go to challenge it is there. Why, why, he's around somewhere. It's Goober, yeah? Where, where, oh, there he is! He's there! This is a very long episode of, of Beetle Battling. Oh, sorry about that. Hopefully, hey, hopefully you're enjoying good it. Good to see everyone! How's it going? Having fun? Absolutely. Shang Li and Guava! You finally made it! Well, Bolchuk is certainly having a blast. The day has finally come! Wobasan, I've been training hard at the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp, and now I want to show you just how far I've come. Uh, and Crimson Staff, too. If my progress satisfies you, then please teach me. Show me the way to communicate with Crimson Staff, Crystal Tornado, and all the shelled organisms of this world. Do that, and I swear, once I become the reigning champion of the beetle fighting world, I will build a mighty statue in your image at the Arataki Gang's beetle fighting headquarters. Okay. What the? Wobasan got a brand new Oni Kabuto. That does not look normal. Oh, it appears to be not a typical Oni Kabuto shell, but one built of resilient wood. Is it wearing a suit of armor? We told Granny all about your Oni Kabuto boot camp. It really piqued her interest when she heard that Guobo was getting a disciple. As it turned out, a friend of hers had made a whole bunch of gardening and landscaping machines to look after the silk flowers on the terrace. They're called bloom pruners. The bloom pruner can transform into the shape of any creature to blend into its environment. Squirrels, butterflies, finches, you name it. And of course, Onikabuto too. That sounds like cheating to me. So, Master gave Globa a bloom pruner and got it to take the form of an Oni Kabuto so he can battle against you. That's pretty high tech for a gardening appliance. Uh, Xiaoling's master is Madame Ping, so Madame Ping's friend. <gasps> Aha! Of course! Uh, remind me who that is again? No machine can compare to a real live Oni Kabuto warrior. Did Guobasan pick a dumbed-down enemy on purpose so we can showcase all our awesome skills? You may be wise to temper your optimism, Oni King. 
My beetle senses are failing to detect this Oni Kabuto's might. Or perhaps... It's too profound for me to fathom. Eh, it's not even alive. There's nothing for you to sense. Uh, anyway, Guobasan may possess limitless power, but a warrior needs to be one with his weapon. The bond between Oni Kabuto and Trainer is forged through blood, sweat, and tears. Not uh, wood, mesh, and gears. <laughs> Crimson Staff and I are like glove and fist. Let's get this duel going. It's time for Guobasan to witness my true potential once and for all. Dude. All right then. <sighs> Okay, uh, right, what is this one? An all-round developed on a Kiroti shaped machine. Cheating, I'd say. Extremely powerful and covered all ranges. So it does earthquakes, electro attacks, uh, enhanced resistance to interruption, medium movement speed. Okay. So, top dog. Final boss. Way bigger than me. Look at the size of it. Oh, I thought I'd go out of the way of that one, but obviously not. Uh, what's it doing? Move. Ah. Move. Oh dear. Back. Keep pushing the wrong button. It's getting close. Oh, it jumped back. No, I can't get out of the way of that when I, I dive in. Oh no! No! Oh no, it's winning. It's beating me. Got it. Oh, that was a good hit! Oh, now what's it doing? Okay. Oh, oh, okay. That was a mistake on your part. Oh, I was trying to move. Why can't I move forward? Okay, get it. Move! I need that stamina. Right, let's try and get in a little bit. There we go, that was a mistake at this part. <laughs> Got it. Oh, wow. Whoa, Bull Checker sure made short work of the Bloom Pruner. I won! Victory is mine! With my trusty Crimson Staff, I have defeated the mighty Guobasan! Alrighty then. <laughs> the moment I've been waiting for. <clears throat> Guobasan, if I have earned your recognition, I humbly ask you to teach me the ways of shelled organism communication. Uh huh? Guobasan, you look pleased? But you just lost to me in battle. Does this mean you're proud of me for my swift progress? No, I was gonna cry. Oh shucks! I don't know what to say! <laughs> you're too kind, Guobasan! Oh, you're just being modest. I know you were going easy on me. It looks like Guobas all warmed up now. The Bloom Pruner is ready to operate at full power. Guoba, remember the plan? In this round, we want to increase the Bloom Pruner's power output from a tenth of a percent to one percent, okay? Any higher and you'll risk knocking Ito's Oni Kabuto out cold. <sighs> okay, there it is. Paimon knew something was up. What? A tenth of a percent? That's nothing. As I feared, we have barely scratched the surface. Wait, hold on a minute. A tenth of one percent? As in 0.1 percent? As in one one thousandth? Uh, you've got to... You, you've got to be kidding me! All that was just one one thousandth of its top power?! No, no, no. Guoba's a little confused. You did say you wanted to train your Oni Kabuto to defeat Crystal Tornado, correct? I thought it would go without saying given the size. The Bloom Pruner has to shift rocks the size of casserole dishes, so obviously it has to be pretty strong. Even then, Crystal Tornado is bigger still. It dwarfs me and Guoba, and it's even taller than you! That's impossible! 
If we were talking, oh, twice as strong as the last fight, I think I'd have a shot. Ten times as strong, and we're already looking at losing most, if not all, of the time. But a thousand times stronger? Who am I kidding? It's hopeless. <laughs> when your tactics fail, you have to change your point of view. In our journeys <laughs> far voice. and wide, we often have to think on our feet. Clinging to old methods can never solve the problem, no matter how hard you try. Of course, Wobason. <laughs> this is what you've been trying to tell me all along. I gotta study mechanics. Then build a suit of armor for Crimson Staff that'll take his abilities to a whole new level. Or maybe, heck, I, I could build a bigger, stronger mechanical Oni Kabuto, piloted by Crimson Staff under my direction. <gasps> An Oni Kabuto piloting a mechanical Oni Kabuto? How do you expect to pull that off? Does that even still count as a beetle battle? I believe it, Dito. Seeing the power of Bloom Pruner has made me realize something. There's a natural limit to Onikabuto's strength. People have tried to tell me this before. Shinobu, the Grand Master, especially Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon. Admitting defeat is shameful, but not even trying to mix up your tactics one time? That's just plain stupid. Wobasan has shown me a new path. Mechanically modified Onikabuto. With this new technique in my arsenal, size will be no obstacle to me and my valiant beetle warriors as we set out to beat Crystal Tornado once and for all. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Woba's not too sure about all that. Mechanics, huh? Hmm. I'd have to get my master to see if her friend would be willing to help. She's the expert. Did you say expert? Please, Wobasan, Chef Sama, my savior, introduce me. Uh-huh. Thinking of becoming the second Arataki gang member to study in Liyue, are you, boss? Ah, Shinobu! When'd you get back? Time's up. We spent our last mora on these boat tickets. And if we don't get to the harbor pronto, they'll go to waste. But, 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 I, I, give me a minute, okay? We're, we're, we're in the middle of an extremely important discussion here. Yeah, I heard. I was actually very pleased to hear the suggestion of you doing some sort of studying coming out of your own mouth. I have some relevant experience, so I can write a little booklet to get you started. But unfortunately, studying in Liyue is very expensive. The Arataki Gang's typical expenditures are a drop in the ocean by comparison. So, what do you intend to do about it? It'll be fine. I'll just... Uh, I'll work like a horse when I get back to Inazuma. I know what I'm getting into here, all right? I got it all planned out in my head. It's not like I've never gotten paid work before. As soon as I get earning, we'll all have cash for the burning. <laughs> and don't think for one second I'll be abandoning you or the rest of the Arataki gang, neither. I ain't the kind of head honcho that runs off to go study and leaves his gang behind. If we're gonna study, we do it as a team. Once I've got enough mora for everyone's tuition fees, the whole Arataki gang is coming to Liyue. We'll study together, learn some epic new skills together, and come out the other side as the stronger, smarter, invincible Arataki gang. You're saying all of the right things. Uh, who are you, and what have you done with Boss? Wow, Bullchucker! Those are some bold words! You better make sure you follow through. Arataki Ito is a man of his word. <laughs> Of course, I, uh, I still need to iron out some deeds in terms of what kind of work I can get and how much I can break in per day, but, yeah. In that case, Oni King, I'll stay here in Liyue. Firstly, this will enable me to follow up with Chef Sama and discuss our study plans in detail. Secondly, now that word of the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp has begun to spread, I'll be able to scout for talented warriors and continue optimizing the Oni Kabuto training diet. Also, if the Oni King's right hand and Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon wish to continue battling or analyze the battle so far, I'll be here to support them. Awesome! Good thinking, Grandmaster. Okay, standard procedure applies. I'll let your grandpops know what you're up to so he won't worry about you. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> man! I am so pumped to see what you'll have for us next time I see you. I do need to make one thing clear, though. I can't promise that we'll be able to talk an adeptus into taking you on as students. Yenfei and I will do our best, 
But we'll just have to see how it goes. The great master of whom you speak boasts a skill others can only dream of. Their pride and prestige don't phase us. The important thing is that I, on behalf of the Oni King and the Arataki Gang, can find a way to show them we're serious and sincere in our quest to master the mechanical arts. So I'll need to do some research to find out what kind of gift we should offer if we're to be seen as worthy of learning the mysteries behind the manufacturer of the Bloom Pruner. Boss, we gotta leave right now or we're not gonna make it in time. <sighs> All right, I guess this is it. Traveler, Paimon, Yunfei Senpai, Miss Shengling, Guoba, you've all been a huge help to boss with this beetle battle event. I really can't thank you enough. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. I hope you can find some use for it in your future endeavors. Wow, you got us a gift! Thanks, Shinobu, you're so thoughtful! Woohoo, freebies for the win! The time has come. Adios, compadre. See ya, sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. Goodbye, Guobasan and Chef Sama. And farewell, my savior. I'll be back real soon. I promise. We'll meet again. La, 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 la. Don't make promises you can't keep, Bullchucker. It's good to have ambitions, but don't let yourself get carried away in the heat of the moment. Do what Shinobu tells you. Be realistic about what you can achieve, and make sure you pace yourself. But of course, if everything works out, Paimon can't wait to see Crimson Staff driving a ginormous mechanical Onikaba till the next time we meet. <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. This is Crystal Tornado that they're talking about. This is the one that they want to try and beat. <laughs> He's like, what are they talking about? Fantastic. Right, well we did it. We did the quest. That's that's really cool. Uh, really happy with that one. Um, so, okay, that's a really long episode of, of Beetle Battling, but hopefully you enjoyed that one. I had a great time. Um, and uh, we finally got that one, so I'm assuming then that that is now done. Yeah, so it looks like that is not there anymore. Fantastic. So we did the quest. So now we can now move on with... Ito's story quest. I think I want to do that one. Now that I've kind of had a taste of what Ito's all about, I want more. So the other one, we um, threw the missed one. We can leave for now. We can. We will, we'll come up, come back to it. But I really do want to do this one and find out what's going on with him because he's now um, uh, Arataki Ito has absconded after committing a misdeed. We need to try and track him down and find out what's going on with him. So yeah, we'll do that next time out. Thank you for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this one, and I'll see you very, very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>